right. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are, March 8th, a few minutes before 6 p.m., to the final installment of the East Coast Nationals Tournament. Yeah, we got a good we got a good game ahead of us, Coach. Absolutely. Uh, looking forward to it. The boys are just finishing up warm-ups now, three minutes to go before the game. I want to give out some early recognition and let, uh, there's, I believe, six Falcons tonight. This will be their last game as a Falcon. Yeah, yeah. So it, yep, so who, who do we got here? We've got uh, David McNabb, number 45. This will be his last one. Uh, Lem Hayworth, 15, his last. Yeah. Um, who else do we got over there? We got Danny Flores, Danny number 42. Two, number 42. Yeah. His last time putting on the, the grays and blues. Number three? Number three, Gage Goulash. Man, I we have seen him since 14U days, so uh, he will be missed. I will miss seeing him over there on yeah. the, the bench. Then um, you got number 20. Aiden Huddleston. Mr. Hustle. Yeah. From what I understand about this game, too, he's going to want to have that hustle factor because this other team hustles pretty good from yesterday's game. Yeah. And then I believe uh, there should only be number 30, Coach. That, yes. So if I get a little misty, you know, later on in the game because I'm realizing that this is the end of the show for him. Yeah. Titus Titus Smith. Another, allergies. Another young, fine man who's been here with us since 14U days. Um, and maybe a special shout out to David McNabb as well. Uh, I remember him back from the 12 U days, so he has been a uh, a pillar in this faith program uh, all these years. Yep. So this is the the fifth game. This is the Friday of the tournament. They've been put into the um, uh, into their bracket. Uh, pool play, yeah, it was over. Uh, yesterday's game allowed them to go on to the championship for a 5A. Do I got that right? 5A? 4A. 4A. I always get this mixed up. So they are in the 4A um, bracket going for the uh, championship banner for this uh, bracket. want to also recognize our second place 3A uh, team from, from the other side, from yeah. the girls' side. They uh, had a two-point loss just before this game. Yeah. Fought hard, just weren't able to quite get back all the way it fell down by 12 points but uh did uh, did we miss ian garno in there as one of the seniors we now that did I see, that's yeah, seven you know, see i got i walked well, i see him walking out yeah that's he, so wrong of us mr garno my apology for missing you there in the early lineup but again your fifth year yeah. on the varsity squad out of um, all the guys to forget yeah mr assist yeah here we are with the prayer oh even coach matt irving leading the prayer So we should see the same starting five as we've been seeing all week, which would be Cooper Dotson, number 14, double zero, Jake White, number 20, Aiden Huddleston, number 23, Ian Garno, and number 30, Titus Smith. Yeah, the boys coming off a strong win yesterday. Let's go, Mr. Huddleston. All right, ready yourselves for the tip-off. And here it is. Patriots win the tip-off. Yep. You're going to see the 3-2 defense. They go middle. Come back outside. Nothing there. Corner three on its way. Short. Ian Garno in a great position for a defensive rebound. First offensive possession for the Falcons. Cougar thought of a three driving and find Ian in the corner. Ian almost loses it, gets it over to Ian who will find Titus. We'll get it back to Jake. Jake looking to do something, but he's going to get doubled. The ball is going to be stolen, but uh, Cougar unable to get it. Back the other way we come. Mid-range shot, short. Jake with a nice rebound. Come back the other way we come. And they go 0 for 2. Let's hope we get a shot this time. Ian looks to drive. In the corner. 
Now it's Cougar in the corner from Jay. History just off the mark. Back the other way we come. Good idea. We know Cougar's a good shooter, so those are going to start falling. They bounce it down low. Ian's right there to have a good contest. Oh. And Aiden, Aiden grabs the rebound. Aiden with the rebound. I like it. One and done, coach. That's yeah. what you want. Cougar looks to find Ian. Ian looks to drive. He does his padded spin move, gets hit. No call. Grabs the offensive rebound, and this time he will be fouled. So we'll have it under the basket. Minute 40 in this contest, no points. But they're uh, still feeling themselves out, I think. Yeah, neither team has played each other, so. Oh, they don't know this, but Cougar in the corner. That's a good look, yeah. and that's a good shot. One, two, three for Cougar. Thank you, Aiden Huddleston. Yes. And they got another guy in the corner. He'll try a three. And that's deep. Oh. They get the rebound. They do get the rebound. And they put it in. Three, two. Yep. Punch and counter punch. Cougar looks to drive. He'll find Aiden, who will try to drive. Gets it back to Cougar. Uh, they are in a, but they keep, they keep, I think it might be a, a, what do you call that, blue and white, where they don't leave the paint. Aiden misses the shot, they get the rebound, drive down, lay up, it's in. That's well, not a bad contest, but a good lay up. Good defense there. Jake will find Ian in the corner. Ian drives all the way. It looks good, but it's going to come off. Just off. They also hustle the ball up the court. The Euro step and another layup. Boy, they're, uh, they're like layups. Yeah, they're, 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 they're splitting that defense. 3-6. Yeah, got to stop ball. Their number four is staying tight on zero. I wonder if they got a pregame report. Aiden started to cut and uh, got a pass. I don't think he was expecting and ends up losing it. Three short. Tight it for the battle and he'll get the rebound and get fouled on number 45. So back the other way we come. Give Titus his first rebound of the game. Yeah, they're staying tight on Jacob. I think they might know something about him. He has scored 82 points this tournament. Yeah. Kind of passes. And yeah. they're gonna go back the other way for a layup, and I think he's gonna make it. He does. I get a timeout here by Coach Irving. Maybe not. Yeah, we're gonna have substitution. Yeah, way too casual. Yeah. So after our first three, they come out with an eight-nothing run. And I think part of it is. They're driving into other places where other players already are. Cougars three short from Titus's pass. Another way, another way we go. Good contest out on uh, running Patriots. And, um, Ball will stay down here. Gage checks in for Aiden. He had a better view, I think. Yeah. Gage with good pressure. Titus Gage there to help. Jake nearly blocks it, but they do get the bucket. End up and run. Let's hope the Falcons can uh, find some rhythm on offense now. Jake being heavily guarded. He's going to look to drive. He loses it, but they're going to call a foul on the floor. He's got to keep, uh, keep secure, that, that ball secure. Yep. Keep those fouls on. Gage gets good position. Oh, not able to finish. Cougar going to be called for his first foul. And back the other way we come. 327 here in the first quarter. 10 3. Running Patriots or just Patriots? Just, just Patriots. The Patriots. They could be called running 
saw the, the way they're playing. Play. Yeah. Thought about a three. Nope. Finds a teammate who airballs. Yeah, Ian gets the rebound. Good defense by Gage on that one. And a steal, but a steal back. Gage controls it. Cougar surveys. Looks to drive. Loses control of the ball, and it's another turnover. You got to take better care of the basketball. Here's a drive. Ian with a hit. I think he's going to be called for a foul. We're going to see two shots. Yeah, it looks like the boys are playing too much man-on-man. -man. Man to single-handed offense. They, uh, they need to play some team ball here. Looking a little out of sorts right now. Not yeah. like the team we've been watching uh, throughout the week. Free throw good. Three to 11. Offensive rebound put back, no good. Gage able to control it. Good rebound, Gage. Good strong rebound. Back we come. Let's hope the Falcons can get some points. Instead, a pass uh, gets stolen, picked off, scored. And now the Falcons find themselves down 10. Got to get yeah. more crisp on these passes. Spacing is too far. Yeah. Jake left on an island. Going to go to his mid-range. It's a little strong. Cougar tries to take a charge. They just let him... Knocked him right over and no call. Ian with the rebound. Now we got a two on, well, a one on. Good rebound, good strong move by Ian. He's just unable to finish. They're gonna get Cougar for his second foul and frustration starting to set in a little bit for Cougar. Yeah, Ian gets his own rebound. We're gonna get a timeout. Coach Irvin's calling a timeout. We're gonna get a, looks like a 30. So three to, 3 to 13 here, just under two minutes to go in the first. Cougar picks up a quick second foul. If there's anything we know about our Falcons is that they don't quit. No, no, no. They'll make so, adjustments, get better angles and distance for their passes. And as soon as they get, once they get the ball going down in a couple times, that'll loosen up those outside passes. Yeah, I kind of anticipate that as the offense gets going, the defense will kind of feed off of that. Or it might be that the defense steps up and leads to maybe some easy offense. So with that three-point uh, earlier in the game for Cougar, that was his 12th of the tournament. But we got to get off that three. We got to score a couple more buckets now. Reach in by Gage, gets the ball. So Gage and Titus are deep. We got Ian up at the top now, joining uh, Jake and Cougar. Nice trap, but they are able to pass out of it. Reverse the ball, they reverse it again. They look to drive. Makes a crazy spin shot, not good. No whistles, so let's keep going. Gage will find uh, Cougar. Finds Jake. I'm glad Jake did not shoot right there, coach. Ian drives in, picks it off the gauge. Gage drives. Strong move, and this time it's Yay! good. It's two for Gage. All right. And that is his 14th point of this tournament. Corner three on his way, way short. Titus sure. should get it. Low, the Gage will. Gage gets that rebound. So, Cougar's going to look at it. Nope. Mr. Garno will take it out. Looks to drive. Gets a little separation, but passes it to Gage, who will try it. Another layup. Nice job, All right, Gage Gulach, thank you, Ian Garno, on that assist. Nice drive. He elevates nicely and puts that ball through the ring. And Cooler steps in and gets a good deflection. Didn't get the turnover, but no. hey, getting deflections, that's good. They go quickly, they kick it out to the corner. It's deep. Gage with another rebound. So Gage having a very strong yeah. impact on his minutes. Seven to 13. Let's hope we hold for one here, coach. They got 
15, little under 15. They get it to the senior Ian Garno. Seven seconds. Cougar had a spot. Now it's going to be Titus. Cougar forced to shoot. He's going to get a three shot foul. And uh, pleading leg, as we learned yesterday, won't change the call. So free throws are very, very big, coach. Falcons were one of nine yesterday. Let's hope, uh, let's hope give, we can improve. Yeah, I give the ref a lot of credit there to uh, make that call. It was yeah. the right call. First one on its way, and it's, it's good. Second one, also good. Falcons fans approving. That's a fantastic job. Let's think this third one. nothing run to close out the quarter that 13 10 doesn't look so bad up there coach yeah i think i think those three free throws are cannon dots and approved yes so the uh the home team here down by three to start the second not out of it oh by no means at all you can Would you also believe they get the ball to start the second quarter? I would believe that because they didn't win the tip. And there were no tie-ups for the no jump tie, ball, yeah. so a little two-for-one action yeah. here. Let's, so. keep, uh, let's get a good quality uh, basket on this side and uh, yeah. find ourselves down just a bucket or maybe tie. Yeah, I'd like to uh, welcome the six uh, viewers here. That's right. Uh, go get a big kick. You'll find Ian. Gage looking to drive. He's going to get the corner. He's going to try a mid-range shot. It's in and out. Back we come the other way. Yeah. And an emphatic oh, block nice by block. Gage. But Another it leads two. to a corner three. Yeah. That's the momentum swings that can happen in the basketball game. Great block. This comes out for an easy three. And then, oh, Cougar loses it. We're going to get a jump ball this time, Coach. Yeah, it's not going to be our way. Nope. So, hoping the uh, Falcons can... Defend well here. Cougar's oh. gonna get a tic tac third foul. And that might mean bench time. Aiden Huddle's gonna check in Aiden's for him. Aiden's gonna check in for him, yeah. It's a lot of time here in the second quarter to have three fouls, coach. Yeah, and we need his shooting prowess out there. Yes, we do. Short. Off oh. Yeah, that came off the glass funny. Yeah, I don't think he could have predicted that one. We got a special viewer out of there that we want to recognize. Uh, Jonah Willard. We're glad to have you watching with us, buddy. We're so happy you can join us. And on that last one, Ian got fouled on his way to the hook. He'll go to the line for two. Yeah. Jonah is watching his cousin Titus. Oh, all right. From Rockford, Illinois, if you can believe that. I can, I can First one, a little strong. Second one is, oh, in and out. Titus will fight, battle, but not get it. Back we come. So 5 nothing so far here for the Patriots. Gives them an eight-point lead. Travel. That travel. First. They yeah. got to call that travel, yeah. Good, astute call there by the man in stripes. It was uh, looking like some pretty good ball movement. Yeah. I'm noticing... They're not trying to settle for a three. They're trying to give that fake and the blow-by to get in the lane. So 
Gage likes this matchup. He's going to get doubled. And uh, one ref looks at the other, and the other one just doesn't move at all. So they're just saying, keep your hair. We don't, yeah. don't want to walk down the court. Gage will find Ian. We're looking for that patented uh, Darnold drive kick to Jake here. Instead, we're going to get a foul. Ian draws the foul. Jake calls number one under the basket. They're going to call an offensive foul on double zero, which I don't know where that was. Very confusing uh, as a spectator as to how that was the call. But I'm not wearing black and white. Ball movement. Aiden with a good board. Great defensive rebound. Looks like the boys might have changed up to a 2-3. We'll have to watch and confirm. Ian with the drive. I think it's going to stay on the floor. So back-to-back -back quarters where we're kind of a little bit slow out of the, out of the gate. 10 to 18, five and a half to go. Let's see if we can get somebody open under the basket. Yeah, they do get it to Ian. Still working man to man. Titus will get it in the post. He looks to drive, makes a good move and scores. Two points for Titus. Those are his 11th points of this tournament. Oh! That's his second block for oh. They call Gage for a foul. That looked pretty good. That was a nice block. Yeah. It was a clean block. And he didn't really get him body either. Oh, they called that on the shot. I looked like, I thought, oh uh, yeah. thought that was a little later. Now you gotta have perseverance and keep fighting. Call didn't go your way, but the game, we got a lot of game. Good play, Gage, good play. Second one also good, so strong free throw shooting uh, by the Patriots so far. Down by eight. Let's build off that offense. Get another bucket. Titus tries to set a screen, but Ian picks up his dribble, so they go to Jake, then to Gage. Age isolated, one on one, he gets a pick. He calls for the screen, trying to get the mismatch. Gage has got it. Tough pass to get, uh, Jake. Now, oh, that's the look we want. Oh! Yeah, he got the distance with that uh, semi drive, got the spacing, and made that. It's good patience by Jake to let the game come to him and not just be forcing yeah. a bunch of stuff out there. I mean, that was the first look I've seen him have. Yeah. And, uh, he made him pay for it. Yeah, he got he got him driving to the hoop and got the three. And I think that's his 20th three-pointer of this tournament. Yeah. So tw uh, 15 to 20, four and a quarter to go in the second. 85 total points for that uh, Jake White guy so I think far. that's what he's at, yeah. Yeah. We, we're gonna need a, We're going to need a few more here tonight. Yeah. But it's like you said, they have he's got a target on his back. They've got one guy dedicated on being tight to him on defense and Hey that that says something about your game when the other team's gotta put a target on your back. Oh yeah, yeah. So but some really good contributions by Gage. Yeah, it looks like they have switched to a 2-3. They should get some better rebounding, especially with Gage in the middle there. Yep. They overload. And yeah, Titus. Really did it. Good. Aiden gets his finger on it, yeah, and Titus gets possession. Yeah, 
Yeah, that kid's following Jacob around like a lost puppy. Gage on that one, a little strong. Aiden able to get the offensive rebound. He finds Ian in the corner, off the mark, but Jake right there with the offensive rebound. It looked like a, a great opportunity there for Jake. Yeah. Just huh. off. Couple, couple good shots. Yeah. Aiden encourages Gage to get back down low for D. Aiden oh gets yeah. Stand on it, but unable to control it. He's the right guy for that spot. Good hustle by Aiden. What a good job harassing without getting the foul. Yep. Behind you, Ian. And Aiden will grab that. He's going to get a layup. Is he going to get fouled? No. Nope. And he oh. That's so why that, they call him hustle. He's the right guy for that spot, yes, I tell you. Is. Falcons right there. Down by three. Two, oh. Two, three right there. Help. We got all sorts of defense. We're going to travel. Let's travel. Uh, he might have hit his head a little bit. Yeah. But uh, just like that, we're back down to a three-point game, Coach. We got two and 46 to go. Got ourselves a ball game. Ian dribbles around the horn. Jake, corner three. It is good. Oh! One, two, three for Jacob. Thank you, Mr. Garno. That's the combo we like to hear. And it's a tied game with a little over two to go in the second. This two, three seems to be effective. Yes. Aiden's coming out high. They get it deep, but there's no effect. Get oh, a trap. Oh, team up, team up, team up. There's number four following zero around. Yep. That's uh, We got to see a, a 21st three drop. Four going to get the steal, yeah. but Aiden quick enough to get the play. And good use of his body. Yeah. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, my fault. He, get, he gets the layup. Aiden has just gotten bad, bad spacing with uh, Jacob on a couple passes. Yep. We love you, Aiden, but you got to be a little closer. Yep. Better angle. Ian finds Titus, who gets it back to Ian, who kicks it back out to Jake. We've seen that look in Jake's eye. He looks right, trying to get one over four. Yep. Ah. Momentum. So we tie it up, they get five back. 25-20, Falcons down. Down by five. Another steal, but it's going to be out of bounds, so it's just, uh, yeah, it's they're, like you said, they hustle. Their they're angles uh, they're angles on offense for that pass are just too close. Yep, got to take better care of passing the ball. So Gage surveys, he sees him, well, he's not going to take it. They get it to Jake. Jake, Jake isolated, one-on-one. On one. They find Gage. Gage will find Aiden, who will try a three. It looks good, but it's... A little too strong. Titus and Jake there to harass, but Titus should be getting back on defense. And they're able to get into their 2 3. They might call for a last shot. I think I heard their coach call. Twenty seconds coming up here. Yep, twenty seconds. Jake gets his hands on it. We're going to get a jump ball. Oh, we're going to get a foul. We're going to call that on Jacob. Mm. That looked like a scrum, right? It looked like he lost possession of it. And they were both just trying to get their... Yeah. I think he was trying to get go for the jump ball, push down on the ball. But yeah. Three on its way. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. Urgency. I don't, I don't quite understand that, but yeah. Well, he definitely had a defender in his face. Uh, didn't allow him to bring the ball up freely. 
and uh, lost track of the time. So, so we had Lake, Patriots Lake, end on an eight nothing run yeah. to finish the quarter. Yeah, late closeout in that corner three, and uh, they make us pay. Falcons still searching for that uh, lead back. They had it once at three to nothing. Yep. Just got to get over that hump. Eight points, no big deal. Just got to get over that hump and secure the lead. Yep. So some, some good things that they were doing was the 2-3 the seemed to be more effective in uh, stopping them. Yep. As long as they get the closeouts. Yep. And having an extra person down there for a rebound. Yep. Which seems to be the more suitable choice. Trap's really not forcing turnovers. So, nope. uh, and then on offense, I think what you, you highlighted before half was the spacing. And uh, they're, they're and, and better better spacing, better passes. Yeah, out they're, of that spacing. their guard defense is pretty strong. They're anticipating that pass. They're kind of lurking low anticipating the pass and then they're getting the easy steal well i'm not going to say easy steal they're working for it yeah, but uh, but they had quite a few i'm sure they're going to make the necessary adjustments here at halftime we lost two they're down two all right yeah First uh, half stats. Well, that's or? up to you. Do you want to hustle over? And uh, well, you don't even have to hustle. You got under five minutes, just under. I don't hustle play as good as you, coach. Yeah. Good water for the players or anything. Uh, that's, I'll take a peek. We'll get a picture or two. Actually, that hurt. Yeah. 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 Sorry to interrupt. You want to see if Jake needs more water? So, uh, Coach Brandon is going to go over and uh, get some stats here. We've got uh, 20 points to account for. So what have, what have we got here, Coach Brandon? We'll look at the foul situation for the Falcons. If I can get my phone to cooperate with me. I'm not going to say that uh, I'm a tech-savvy guy. Here we go. Looks like Jake has two fouls. Cougar's the one that's in trouble with three, three fouls. Yeah. Uh, both Gage and Ian also have a foul. Uh, as far as points, uh, both Cougar and Jake are tied at six points. Gage has four. Uh, both Aiden and Titus have two. Okay. So, ten points in both of our quarters. If you've been following along, we really have not been held this low in the points department for a half. Right. Usually we have uh, a really good first quarter or a stronger first quarter. Not tonight. But there's two halves to basketball, I'm told. That's right. So they'll give you your money's worth. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So there is a player that has like uh, 10 points, number 45, and another player that has uh, nine points, number three. So they got, yeah, a couple of guys there around 10. Yep. And then you have four, three, and two, so. Yeah. And, uh, I think they're going to have to get Cougar into the lineup here yeah. and just let him play. Cougar definitely, uh, 
has been through these games where he's been in foul trouble and knows how to stay yep. disciplined. I, I, I didn't think he was going to get a foul on that third one. It looked like it wasn't uh, merited, but yeah. especially with you all see all the physical play, a little surprised he got that third one, but definitely well, extra they, careful. If they stay in the 2-3 and he, they're not asking him to trap, um, I think the opportunity for him to foul uh, will be reduced, but uh, yeah. discipline. Yeah, gotta stay disciplined. He's doing a nice job here at halftime making threes. That was gonna go in. It's Cougar. It, we're gonna give it to him. Yeah, we're gonna give it. You know, one thing I'll say about this game that seems to be different from other games, a lot of reason why we've been able to have such strong three-point shooting is because we've been able to get a good drive and then a nice kick. Yeah. It kind of gets everybody uh, out of place on defense. Yeah. And sometimes it's an immediate shot, or other times it'll be uh, rotating the ball for an open shot. We haven't seen so much of that yet. Well, I think the difference in this game is, is these boys are a little more athletic and they're driving into a couple of hands, active hands, and they're not allowing the guys to kick it out. Um, so you've got to make that decision before you get to these defenders what you're going to do. Either you're going to take it or you're going to kick it out. But if you're going to kick it out, it's got to be sooner. Yep. But that's just commentary talk. Oh, I know. It's easy for me to say that sitting here in my easy chair. Yeah. It's going to be a white ball coming out. Yep. Let's go, boys. Let's go, Cougar. Come on. Smart pass. He'll come get it. Yeah. Jake will screen off his defender. Looks like number four will be following him around again. He's got a special assignment. Good strong yeah. finish by Jake. Yeah. Oh, he had a little extra contact with Jacob that. Jacob had his shoulder into number four's chest that whole way. Was it dip? Uh, no, he stayed strong. Stayed tall. Yeah. He's got the height adjust uh, advantage, so maybe it's a good matchup. Shot no good. Gage yeah, with a nice yeah. rebound. So Cougar brings it out. Get it to Garno. Garno will get it to Gage. Gage looking to take it all the way. Gets contact. Block shot. And we go the other way. Quick pass. Able to save it for a three from his teammate. And it's good. Those are daggers. Those hurt. Those do hurt. Nine point game. Cougar is going to try to answer back. And he missed a little strong. No rebound. And one and done, and we back we go the other way. He's going to drive all the way. Gage is going to make contact, and it's going to be a two-shot foul. And uh, that, deep, that deep three from Cougar led to a long rebound. So that will be Gage's second foul, team first here in the third quarter. Minute 15 underway. First one, no good. No good. Second one, no good. Gage, emphatic rebound. Here it's we good. go the other way. Good having him in there for these minutes. We need his play. Cougar looks to drive. He'll kick it to Titus. He'll kick it to Ian. Ian gets about mid-range, and he's going to give it back to Gage. He'll drive all the way. Oh. Gage is going to try an up and under. And uh, I don't know Gage to really do that well, but uh, they show us on the other side how you can do it. Yeah, nice kiss off to the last. 11 point deficit. Put it in a gauge. Gauge in the elbow, back out to Cougar. Cougar, deep three. Oh, and it scoops in and out. It's a little deep. So Falcons going to have to dig deep within themselves and make sure that they don't let the score get out of hand. Corner three on its way. Short. Can Titus get it? He can, and he'll be fouled over the back. Um... 
So the guy that's locked up on Gage has to, or uh, he, uh, Jake has to come out because that's his third foul. Uh, so that could be a help for Jake. Let's see what happens. And number 12 will be guarding him now. And it's a mismatch. Jake's got the height advantage on him. All right, you got to control the basketball. Ian kind of got a little bit sloppy. Gage, uh, Jake, great contest. And that leads to an Ian rebound. Thank you, Jacob White, for that. He totally altered that shot. Got, he has a nice height on the jump, too, there, Coach. Yeah, he can elevate. And the nice thing is they draw another foul on the guy that's guarding Jake. Yeah. So let's see what he does with his matchup. Old Titus. Well, you don't want to see two Falcons in the same spot. That's no, it's how they draw it up. Jake, Jake's waiting in the corner. Jake. Jake looks to drive. Kicks it out to Titus. Titus looking. Jump ball is going back uh, the other way. One thing I know is when you're playing that middle position, uh, you got to have it like an internal clock. Yeah. You hold it like that too long, and you're going to get double, triple team like he just did. So, you got to know what to do with the ball. Yep. And it's okay to kick it back out if it's not there. Here's another drive. He likes that same thing. But they give up the offensive rebound. And a corner three, maybe not. How about a wing three? Long rebound stays here. Almost a travel. Instead, we're going to go the other back to another wing three. He hasn't missed a lot. Doesn't miss that one. Coach, at what point do you think about calling a timeout when uh, momentum seems to be going the other team's way? Oh, Cougar to Jake. I guess not, three. not too early if that's going to be yeah, the result. Of course. Mid-range shot is good. Looked a little too easy. And uh, confidence. Patriots look pretty confident against us right now. Cougar looks to drive. And oh, finish. yeah. Nice little bunny. Nice drive in two. 11 points, down by 11. Three and a half to go. Boys need to get, dig deep and get a stop. Better defense this time will lead to a, a bad shot. Titus able to rebound it and get it to get, uh, Ian. Yep. I do know names. I'm just uh, slipping today. <laughs> he got pushed. Titus, Titus, Titus gets got pushed. He, falls down. He got road. Yeah, he changes. He changed. The referee corrects his call. Uh, it and, was very uh, confusing. Yeah. It's either a no call. Titus well, just fell. I don't. Yeah. He did his patent and flop, I think, Coach Irving no, said. Yeah, no, no. Oh, he no. got driven. Okay. He got driven okay. through. And. Cougar with another yes. great strong move. He protected that ball on his back hip as he drove in. Nice laying. Cougar likes to drive. Nice to shoot threes, too. Yeah, he does a nice job with that big truck he totes around town. Yes, he does. So we're back to a nine-point game, and Titus can't get the handle on it. They kick it around. Good trap. Corner three, close out a little late. And they make it pay for it. We're going to get a timeout by uh, Patriots on that one. Pushes the lead up to 12, 41-29 with 2.36 here in the third. Falcons have a couple things going good, but uh, boy, the threes are falling for the uh, yeah. Patriots this quarter, Coach. Yeah, they're on, and it was good, it was good D. Uh, Titus had a good step out, got his hand up. Uh, that gentleman is just making them. Yeah. Well, it's never too late to offer a prepare for these boys. Lord, we just ask for your spirit on this court to be over these boys. Yep. Your will be done. No plans of the enemy to be uh, happening on this court. 
Here we go, faithful. Jake driving. Oh. He swung that up, but just not. That one off the mark, but can we get a rebound? The answer is no. And they're going to call it off the Patriots. Great ball. I don't think we're going to rely on the other ref to make a call from half court. <laughs> no. He does not look interested. No. Not that way. He's probably thinking about what he ordered for lunch. Jake gets uh, handled there. Titus will drive. No. Euro step, man, this guy likes his layup. I can't believe he missed that one. Gage with another great rebound. Yes. Minute 45 to go here. No numbers for the Falcons on that. Tight is going to look to drive again. And he's going to get blocked. It's going to go out of bounds. It's going to stay Falcon ball. Looks like coach calls for two. Gage open out of that. Did a nice look, but... He passes it up to Cougar. Cougar step back floater. Does Faded not get the yeah. Coach. It was not a regular set shot for him. I know he can he make was open. Oh yeah, he was open. Minute 17 in the third. Patriots in no hurry other than ball movement. A lot of pressure, but nothing getting home. That Gage is going to be called for his third foul. Throws the ball kind of... Uh... In frustration. And, uh, okay, we're going to get two free throws for the Patriots. Aiden getting set to check back in. He'll have to wait for the first free throw. And it's good. Yeah, we, uh, Eden checks in for Gage, and we really need Gage out there for rebounding. Yeah, Gage has had a really strong game. Definitely appreciated having him in there. Not good. Credit to them for making free throws, Coach. 29-43, just under a minute. Left in the third. Kill it, Cougar. Oh. Nope. Just not quite falling the way they've had this tournament. But Cougar able to get it back. Titus yeah. wide open. Cougar's not going to see it. Yeah, no, they had a, he had a mouthful of uh, defender. Garner with his pad, his thin move gets fouled. And he's going to shoot too. Yeah. That's what we call going through the spin cycle. Yeah. Let's see if we can get up a couple points here while the clock's not running. Oh, just rolls off to the right of it. I think he's going to make adjustments here and get some point, get a point here. Ninety percent of all front rim shots miss. Oh, there's another. There's one. another example of that. Thirty seconds. They drive, they kick. I think they're gonna hold for one. 14 point lead, I would. 14 seconds. Now 10. They're gonna drive, they're gonna kick. Five seconds, three, two, one, why not? No so good. So the Falcons have a mighty tall task. They have not been able to score 10 points in one quarter yet, and they find uh, themselves down 14. Coach, your thoughts? Well, certainly not beyond them. Uh, they have certainly scored a lot of points in a quarter. So, Bunches. Yep. So if they, if they get their shots falling, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be for an exciting finish to this game. Yeah.
That was a 15 to 9 in favor of the uh, Patriots. Patriots, yeah. yeah. And it'll be uh, Patriot ball to start the fourth. Oh, sorry, my fault. My fault, faith ball. Faith ball. There is a faith Patriots team, but. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, not this one. Looks like Falcons are facing a man-to-man defense. And uh, try to get it to Jake. And now their plan is uh, keeping the ball from Jake. They get that steal there. Yeah, I think that foul was on Ian. Jake's going to need a screen or some little help to get open. Number four is guarding him like a shadow. Corner three. They like those. That's deep. Garno there. Gets the rebound. Gets the rebound. Great caught, rebound. Yeah, he causes number 11 to fall right off him. He's like a, he's like a strong tower. How about Cougar? Oh, gets the fake, puts it up, and in. In rhythm. I yeah. like that play, Coach. He gets him in the air and relocates to the open spot. Makes him pay for it. Yep. Now let's get a defensive stop. Pick on its way. Titus steps up, gives out some good help. Four blows by Aiden, and he's going to get an easy... Did he, uh, did he wrap his arm around him, Coach? No, I think Aiden was expecting some backside help, and he didn't get it. Looks like uh, we were in man-to-man defense, Coach. Yeah. Cougar with a double gets it. by. So back we come the other way. They're going to try to drive against him again. Titus with the help side defense gets a hand on it. We'll be all for a foul. Look like, uh, look like, uh, no, I don't know. I'm probably biased because I'm his dad, but yeah. it looked like he, he looked like he got some mostly ball there. He steals oh, the inbound. Great job there getting that steal. Jacob White brings the ball up. He looks right to Cougar. Cougar. Oh, he's Cougar. gonna take that. Sets himself up for a nice three. Jake with a great yeah. rebound. Rebounds, yeah. Spins to his left. The other guys get out of his way and he lays it in. Here's a blow by. He loves layups and he gets another one. That was a quick. Yeah. So Cougar will try. He's got a one on one matchup. I think he's going to drive. Nope, he's going to give it to Ian. Ian will give it back to Cougar. He's thinking three. 12 point deficit, six to go. Finds Jake for a really deep three. That's way oh, short. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, a little bit out of his range. Yeah. Yesterday, he hit one a little closer than that. So he knows he can do it. Titus a little too shallow on the D. The long rebound does come back to him. And we have a player slip. Ian's going to drive. Get contact. Oh. Nothing. And you can't save oh. the ball when you're the last guy out of bounds. Yeah. Very that interesting was... sequence there, Coach. A lot of effort there on Ian to try to save that ball, but he had already stepped out of bounds. Did not establish himself. So now just under five and a half, 12 point deficit. Each team scoring a couple baskets this quarter. Drive on its way and another basket. 49-35, ties the biggest lead of the game. Cougar will try a three. Oh, oh. Off the mark. And uh, his, his threes just continue not to fall. Here's another three on its way from a very good shooter. He's having like yeah. the Jake, that's like the Jake threes on uh, their Yeah, their, their zero is... Uh... Just hitting those shots tonight. I think if I play in men's league, I'm going to pick the number zero. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ian with another shot. No good. And it's short. Good dribbling out of that. Give and go and an easy layup. And it's off the mark. It'll hit off 45. 
and the Falcon ball. Keep it up, 30, don't quit. 17 point lead, the Cougars cut it to 14. Oh! Yeah, yeah nice shot, That's what Cougar. shooters do though. They don't, nice they shot. Don't, they don't let a missed shot get to him. Nope, him. he was, he had that dead set there. Nice release, straight shot. Nothing but the bottom of the net. And Coach Irving will call a full timeout. 38-52, four minutes to go. So 14 point deficit. If I got the mathematics correct on my abacus. Yeah. Or, or slide rule, depending on what you're gonna use here today. Yeah. You know, and actually, if you've gotten either, these days you can use your phone to yeah. do math. Yeah. Hard to believe. Those phones really come in handy. Yeah. They can suck away your time, too. So you got to be careful. Yep. Yep. Got to know how to use the tool you have in your hand, right? That's right. So when you're... Well, never mind. <laughs> so referees blow their whistle. Coach gives final instructions. Here oh. Falcons will be on defense coming out of this timeout. Same squad. Final four minutes for a few of these fellas. All they got left in the tank. Pick coming. Right is to defend. He loves layups. Does try to blow him by. Nope. Aiden will guard four. Right is really aggressive with number 11. No calls. And uh, more switching. Here's a drive, he's gonna take a shot. Jake's gonna foul. Two free throws coming up for number three. Yeah, we'll see if, he's, uh, if that uh, foul is, uh, works out on that. Oh, he gets the first. James Mulas checks in. Who's he coming in for? Titus. Yep, so he makes the two. But they are shooting their free throws at a high percentage. Yeah. Goals. It's a good squad here. Yep. Ian Garno with the ball. He'll drive. Oh, and he gets hit. Let's see how we do with our free throws. Yeah, coach. let's see if we can match suit. Ball was on number four. That'll be his fourth. One more, he'll be out. Well, we do. Uh, he wasn't short on that one. No. The other two. This is the front end of the two. We get a substitution. Three and a half to go. Thirty-eight, fifty-four. We'll, we'll oh. Off on that one too. Falcons try to apply some pressure. Patriots have been very good at not turning the ball over. They get another shot, and it's good. And uh, I just want to say, no matter what happens, I'm still very proud of our boys this year. Absolutely. Uh, on a great season, really. Um, oh, we got Gage. Nice drive. Oh. Just to the right. And it leads up to an easy basket. Cherry picking, I saw, I think, on that one. And Falcons face a 20 point deficit. Cougar, contact, no call. Yeah. Back the other way we come. Jake with the block. Jake with the block. Gage Cougar's gets, open. Gage gets it up to Cougar. Cougar looking to get his, the kid's oh. foul, not there. Gage blocked. Yeah. Foul on number 11. Seniors 
getting ready to check in as oh. I think Coach is conceding that the Suns uh, yeah. probably too far out of reach at this point. So we're going to get Lemuel Hayworth and uh, David McNabb coming in, I believe. I guess it's yeah. Aiden, Aiden, uh, Aiden sits down. Nice job, Aiden. Nice job. Keep your head up. Can't, and, uh, can't do that as a... Uh, he might have been aiming for the uh, rim, try to get it back to him real quick. But. To stay from coming out? No, I'm just yeah. So Gage will sit down for David McNabb. Uh, David's had uh, seven points in this tournament. Kick ball out of bounds. It's going back to the Falcons. So the uh, the seniors now in the court. Yeah, David McNabb, Len Hayworth, Ian Garnell. David will try to make a play. Oh, oh in and out. that was a nice dribble and hook there. But how about Danny Flores? I think he'll get in. Jake with a nice rebound. That's a good question. We'll see. Reps, Jake with the rebound. Reps Out to Ian. The yeah. Gage to Ian. Or sorry, my fault. Jake up to Ian on that. A little reversal there from the rest of this week. Nice shot, Ian Garnon. Way to hit that corner three. Yeah. Well done. So 41-58 uh, with 1-47 and 47 to go here. What a fantastic season for these boys. They uh, came off of a, a great regional tournament, came into here and played really cool, really good pool play, even uh, with sending one to overtime, uh, playing the, uh, uh, I'm not sure if they won or not, but playing likely the number one team of the tournament. Uh, the, the number one team is on a court straight across from us, actually. You can see them, uh, the free throw team they're playing against. Yeah. You see the next basket, I'll let you give you an update on that. But good season, good season for these really faith boys. Good. Played really good team ball this year, yeah. um, which allowed them as a team to do better than uh, any one of them could do individually. So coach is keeping them for an extra moment. like Danny does check in and they give JJ some minutes as well. So Ian Garno stays out there from the uh, lead squad. I think we got three seniors that are done for the rest yeah. of this uh, tournament. And, uh, some realization of where their uh, careers uh, with high school basketball have come. Yeah, David McNabb rebound out to Ian. Ian will sauce it up, spin. Yeah. Oh. Leaves it a little short. Well, you, you got to remember the refs have put their whistles in their pocket. They had to get it out for the timeout, but they will not call anything unless they absolutely have to. Danny going to look to make a play. We'll find David will try a 15 footer. Oh, doesn't oh, get the roll. What if we're going to see Lem VP hit a three here? Yeah, Lem has. Uh, He's lit it up a little bit this tournament as well. Not sure how many offensive possessions we're going to have. I think they might try to run the clock out. Yeah, under a minute. Oh, they found the whistle. Yeah, they, uh, they called, <laughs> Sorry. They called David for... Uh, that, that was Lamb. That was Lamb. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was David. Maybe. No, oh, that was David. Yeah, David did it again. That's probably David the last time. <laughs> you gotta move your feet. You can't just reach with your arm. For a legal guarding position. You gotta have your body in front of their body. So that'll be the 15 foul, which means free throws, I believe. So 60 to 41. Yeah. Falcons were able to score 12 points this quarter. Unfortunately, 19 for the uh, going the other way. 20 on its way. The Patriots uh, played a well game. Good yeah, game. they did. They had a good plan coming into the game. Offensively, it looked like we, uh, we really had to... They didn't, we didn't have our way. 
So both free throws good. Uh, 30 seconds to go. We'll see if Lem gets off a three. Daniel, Danny will do it. Oh. And it's an air ball. And that should run the clock out. We'll know maybe we're going to get a layup from uh, one of their players who doesn't normally score. And uh, Lem will look to make a play. He's not there, but Danny will try another one. That one's a little, a little long. And that, they'll let the clock run out. It's 64-41, your final. Falcons will settle for second place here in the D4A. Uh, yep. Yeah, second place, not too shabby, boys. Uh, boys, I'd just like to thank you for a fantastic season. I really enjoyed watching you guys play this season as well as grow up over the seasons. Coaches, thank you for your time and effort that you put into these boys, and uh, it's much appreciated. A great program, uh, great boys. Yeah, now you just shake it off and uh, go back to the cabin and eat some pizza and just have fun with your teammates and uh, just enjoy the fact that you got a week out in Tennessee. Yeah. It's yeah. fun. And Brandon, I'd like to thank you for doing these uh, the commentary here. It's been a fun week, and uh, thanks for sending Titus on to Faith Way where we could play. And play I also want to give you a little bit of love. Uh, on uh, how you've been able to let me sit here and commentate with you, as well as if uh, if I need some exercise, Coach White has definitely been a, a gracious uh, helper in getting me uh, back in shape. Yeah. It's uh, not an overnight process, so I still got some work to do, but yeah. he was very instrumental this week in, uh, in uh, helping me get, get out there. And Coach is holding the... Uh, Second place. Hope, hope, yeah, let's, let's go in there and... Let's go in and see these guys. Yeah. Sherry, you got your phone? Sherry, your phone. We got the rocky top behind them. We got the rocky top. Get in there, David. Let's see that trophy. Let's see that plaque. Congratulations, boys. Not the banner you were hoping for, but not too shabby.